All right, gentlemen, it's a long story again. So this video is a little bit of a different one because I was actually thinking of if I should even talk about this topic at all whatsoever, because recently I've tried actually to be more positive about the whole gaming sphere in general, because there's a lot of negativity in the world right now, right? There's a lot of shit going on. And I was like, let's at least have a fun area, which is gaming, where we don't have to think about these, these things, right? And just enjoy ourselves. But I've come to realize that it's not us gamers who decide that. It's actually the companies who put all the political stuff in the games. We've seen it over the years now with all the transgender stuff that has been put in there, even though nobody wants it. And all these games flop, by the way. So it's not it's not money they're seeking there because they would know better because they're not making any. It's really just, how do I phrase it? It's a message they're trying to send. It's political, right? And gamers are obviously pissed. Now, I tried to stay away from this mostly with this channel so far, um, but I realized I have to stand up for what I believe in. This is what I think is the truth. And yeah, whatever. So the point is why I'm bringing this up is a tweet recently from Diablo, right? At Diablo on X, basically Blizzard's Diablo thingy. And they posted this tweet. Right? A warrior so mighty, even our demons cower at her. Congratulations, Whoopi Goldberg. This was apparently demons from the Diablo video game series presented Whoopi Goldberg with the key to hell at a recent event for actress can cannabis brand. Now this is stupid, absolutely stupid on the marketing front for many people re realizing this because not only is this one of the least liked celebrities right now, <laughs> Um, Whoopi Goldberg, she has some very, very weird takes on that, and most people actually don't like her whatsoever. So sort of embracing that with your brand is kind of stupid. The next thing is cannabis, basically a gaming company promoting drugs. The, uh, I, can't, I could go on a whole tangent with that on and of its own. That's just so stupid on so many levels. I don't even know where to start with that, but whatever. And the third part is obviously with this whole thing. Why do this at all? Like, what is the use of this tweet? Or even the whole thing that the Apple video game people were there at all. Like, what is the purpose of that? The people didn't like it. If you look at the comments, like this was me talking shit, obviously. Posts like this make me want to abandon the franchise altogether. You lost the cast customer. Deleting Diablo. They're all very much liked, right? There's no ratio going on. Glad I pretty, I pretty gave up on this franchise. The biggest L clown. Downward. There was also another guy who actually posted a... Yeah. The purchase has been refunded. Diablo 4. Vessel of Hatred. <laughs> also this. This is exactly the reaction kind. I kind of like this guy. This is great. So... I don't know if it's just, again, Blizzard not realizing who their target audience is. Who they are selling their games to again or if this is really just political stuff and they don't care about money they don't give a fuck they just want to get this message out and pushing it on people i don't know what's going on here now this doesn't really say anything about the game per se right this doesn't mean that the game is bad per se i actually did like diablo 4 in its current state i think it's pretty good right now and i always just feel very sad and bad for the devs who are just trying to make a great game and then the marketing department comes along and just torpedizes all the efforts with this shit. Now, this didn't get, it's just 120,000 views. I don't know how many people actually play Diablo right now. I mean, we could look it up. Oh, there, okay, that that went down a little. Um, wow, okay, okay. Um, <laughs> actually, I thought it was way more than that, but um, peak last month was 40k. Okay, so I guess a bunch of people saw that. Anyway, so I just don't understand where this is coming from. I mean, there's, of course, all the theories where this is coming from. This is all pushed intentionally. If you think of BlackRock and all this, I have my theories. I'm not going to share them with you right now unless you want that. It's all fine. But the key thing here really is also the key to hell, right? Which is very, very fitting. Because this is where you, where you end up with this whole thing. He also said, Bill, why not the key to the high heavens? Because you can't. She can enter Greater Rift, yeah. I just understand the marketing department here. And this is why I don't think that this is actually people with or understanding the customers or the target audience. It's just activists sitting in the marketing departments or in HR in these companies and probably a DEI hire, whatever it is, because people are not hired based on merit again or anymore these days for some reason. 
So this was a complete huge L. Now you could say, okay, it's just fucked up, right? It's just, they thought it was good, just fucked up, uh, didn't have the reaction from the people they want. Maybe. That could totally be the case. And then this is all irrelevant. Maybe. But we've seen this a lot over the recent years, and this is why I also bring this up. It wasn't just Blizzard, which is now owned by Activision, which is very big, or even Microsoft in this case, which is very big in DEI and the BlackRock money. If you know anything about Bill Gates, he's a very evil person. So maybe this is all happening intentionally. Maybe it's just an accident. I don't know. I'm just giving you the information here. Make up your own mind about it. I'm acting like a journalist here a little bit, just giving you what is happening here of the information and you can make up your own opinion about it that is your job not mine i don't want to be the influencer here make up your mind yourself that's just what it is i think this is a big marketing flop i mean not think it's obviously a big marketing flop because the reception is very very bad so definitely fucked up it might just be a one-off let me know what you think of it what is your understanding of this whole thing how did you see this how did you see it now if you see it for the first time what do you think of the whole thing and do you think that Microsoft and Activision are actually pushing an agenda here or if this is just an accident? Let me know what you think of it and I will see you guys in the next video.